Here's an explanation of how coronaviruses transmit through the air. First of all, influenza and coronaviruses are both so-called enveloped viruses. That basically means that they are both contained in a sort of balloon. You should see this balloon as a small astronaut suit. These viruses, together with many and thousands of other viruses, are contained in our respiratory droplets. Respiratory droplets are basically small water droplets. And every time we speak, breathe, sing, cough or sneeze, these small water droplets come out of our mouth. Depending on their size and weight, these water droplets carry a load of viruses with them. Large droplets fall to the ground within 1.5 meters or 6 feet. But the small droplets float and can linger in the air for hours. These small droplets are distributed throughout a building by means of a ventilation or air conditioning system. The risk of becoming infected then increases proportionately to the time someone spends in this environment and is directly affected by the level of humidity in the room. The drier the air, the more virus particles spread through the air and linger in your vicinity. Large water droplets containing viruses contain a lot of water and are therefore heavy and sticky. The time they stay afloat in the air is therefore much shorter. These droplets fall on floors or other surfaces and stay there. These water droplets also contain salts and those salts attack the virus particles and cause the viruses to become deactivated. These types of droplets are the reason we have to make sure we clean shopping carts before we use them. If the humidity is very high, there is a much lower risk of inhaling infected droplets that contain these viruses. However, droplets in a building with a low relative humidity, below 40%, at 21 degrees Celsius, which is room temperature, evaporate very quickly and start to float. A salt shield is also formed around each droplet, making it more resistant to the natural protection of our body, our mucosa. This floating droplet is called an aerosol, and these aerosols, which are smaller and lighter than big droplets, have a salt shield and don't only stay longer in the air, they are also less sticky and therefore remain afloat for longer, making it easier to inhale and infect people. Ventilation systems and air conditioning are responsible for the dispersion of aerosols in areas where people are present and this makes them easier to inhale. A low humidity in combination with a ventilation or air conditioning system significantly increases the risk of becoming infected by influenza or SARS-CoV-2, the coronavirus, because these particles become airborne. On top of that, these viruses remain contagious for longer, for a longer period of time, because of their salt shield. It's therefore very important to keep the room temperature at 21 degrees and a humidity of at least 50%. Then the water droplets can start to float and the chance of infection decreases considerably. Other scientific research has shown that higher humidity also helps our body's natural protection, our mucosa. If, for whatever reason, you are unable to increase humidity, we highly recommend an air purifier. This device works as a kind of vacuum cleaner for viruses and is available both as a standalone device or module for ventilation systems. These devices, together, can reduce the spread of infections up to 83%, especially in communal areas. For more information, check out www.viroless.com.